सो गाइज आई एम बैक विथ येट अनदर कस्टम रॉम विच इज फुल ऑफ कस्टमाइजेशन एंड दिस रॉम इज नन अदर देन इवोल्यूशन एक्स बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन रनिंग ऑन माई रेडमी नोट सेवन so the very first thing that comes after setting up is launcher so here are the customization that the stock launcher have most of the things that you get is similar to other roms the icons home screen app door settings under miscellaneous you can find taskbar and hidden and protected apps too taskbar works smoothly it is less buggy now and works as intended too then comes the device settings which includes the evolver which includes all of the customization that you will get from this rom first one is themes which includes options to tweak system theme and mone as the way you like you can tweak mone settings from the theming settings which includes option to change theme styles which is similar to the color options that you get from wallpaper and styles there is color option for dark theme as well Other than that you can change fonts icons for system UI Wi-Fi navigation bar signal data and icon shape as well status bar comes in with same old customization with one exception that is status bar lyric and you can find things like clock style logo battery styles and others as you can see So the very first option from the quick settings customization is combined quick settings element which is buggy as you can see the color of the tile changes to pink which is cringe enough to die i don't know how it should work as i never used it but if it is intended to work like that then i'm out of this business other than those you will have same things as we used to have since ages oh by the way look what does the footer text says subscribe subscribe to me or Ah uh, yes notifications but too much of it is painful and to save us we have heads up on or off toggle and retigger as well both of them is life saver for me cuz i hate those annoying notification while i'm gaming or watching some videos you can find other options like notification light flashlight for calls and notification and in call vibrations as well power menu is ma so i skipped it gestures have these options as you can see here system gestures have all the system related ones you can find some extra options for gesture navigation settings i also tried quick tap which does not work for me maybe cause the device is too old or it is buggy and other gesture settings are within the first page too much gestures my hand will be like this if i enable them all lock screen have a lot of customization which includes tons of new clock font styles which is great to have and with the android 14 base this feature will be amazing other than that there are options like the media cover art hide status bar and all of the goodies that you can see Miscellaneous have options like parallel space which is similar that we saw in Arrow OS there is game space too You can also enable unlimited photos game unlock and Netflix spoof too which is a good thing to have Battery settings have this pixel usage chart which can be turned on or off Other than that you also get charging warning sleep mode which turns off all of these settings so you can sleep in peace and there is a battery widget option as well security have enhanced pin privacy quick unlock and app lock too under system settings you can find device settings which is basically Xiaomi parts Camera works fine as the stock camera is Google Camera Go and there are no issues with the video mode. 
safety net does get passed without to do and the wide one is l1 geek bench score is what i used to get with 4.4 kernel and the cpu throttling test shows a different story as you can see there are too many dips but somehow managed to drop just 10% these dips can be seen in gameplay video as well so the gaming performance is okay i did face lag one time in a single match i forgot to enable fps counter but the fps should be around 45 to 60 in my opinion it is quite good and you cannot expect 100% stability as the device is very old now There are some minor bugs like the quick tap is not working and users is reported bluetooth audio bugs but it is now fixed with the latest update and i also felt that the ui is not that smooth as other roms as it feels a bit slow to use so it is a good rom overall it just need a bit more optimization and then it will be perfect for everyone it comes with a lot of customization safety net and wide wan is not a problem and other things works fine too ui smoothness is not a big concern but you can notice the difference right away so that's it for this video make sure to subscribe for more videos like this also leave a comment and like this video